dun, 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 I have a great dun, dun, view dun, from dun, this dun, keyhole. Dun, 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 dun. Ce n'est rien. Je me suis trompé. Bien, monsieur. What? Who's that? Who's in number? Is the drama or calamity? It's a sitcom. It was Monsieur Ratchet, but he is well. Then let us hurry back to sleep. Well, that's not suspicious. How would we know about this? I understand the murder mystery rule of all clues must be presented, but I have personally put hidden cameras along the entire train track in 1930 or something. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Okay. I don't like this. It's forcing us to be idiots. There you are. I've been ringing and ringing. Nobody cares. I beg your pardon, madame. Voulez-vous quelque chose? You require? There is a man in my compartment. Ah, good for you, madam. Mm. But, madame, as you can see, there is nowhere a man could hide himself. I woke up, and a man was there. I felt it. You say yourself, madame, that your door was bolted. How did he enter? Uh, how did he depart? Avalanches! Intruders! What's next? Uh, okay. He just walked off like, I have time for this. I do not get paid enough. What, what now? Oh my god, how do we deal with all of this? I... It's too much. Yes. Will someone just die already? We are so fired. Totally. Actually, no, Poirot is going to give a big recommend. Ah, okay, finally, a murder. Oh, don't pretend you didn't see that. Who the... Well, that's an interesting disguise. Whoever you are. I don't see animation style, but it looked like the wig was warping there, and I am going with a wig. I thought it was a towel. Hmm. <laughs> There's a sauna on this train? Let's just go there. Yeah, it looked like it was a, just a kimono or a... yeah. Uh, so we followed them. Yeah. Hmm. The door is locked. Then where did they go? Are they in here? Possibly. Yes, it's they're in there. Fast. That's the bathroom. That's the big bathroom. So they're probably in there. Okay. Can we glass it? Uh, doubtful. Um, that's that. These are the rooms. I'd imagine they're all locked at the moment. Yeah. We should probably talk to the attendant. I don't know. This is hard. Yeah. I want... It's hard, man. You, you are Michelle, so suspicious. Who is the woman in the scarlet kimono? I am sorry, mademoiselle. I was updating the inventory of the Calais coach supplies. I did not see her face. Hmm. Huh. Hopefully, we can do all of them. Did you hear a thud a moment before I appeared just now? No, I heard nothing, mademoiselle. Perhaps it was in the compartment next to yours, uh, Monsieur Poirot, perhaps. Oh no, Poirot's the victim. That would be a really depressing game. <laughs> that would be a really interesting twist on the story. That'd be great. Yeah, let's go find out about oh, him. Let's see if he's dead. What compartment did she come out of? I am not sure. One of the rooms in the middle of the car, I think. Uh, Madame Hubbard's, perhaps, or Monsieur Rachette. Oh. Uh, but it's Poirot. Poirot's in the kimono. It was, it was definitely Poirot. It was quite a large, like, short person. I pretended to be ill, and then I put on the kimono. <laughs> I can't! The accent changes every time I do it! Ah, you have to start by acting a little bit pretentious. That's how you get it down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I I think it was Poirot in the kimono, because there aren't many short, fat people apart from Olsen, who's in our room. Hmm, interesting. And it's has in the middle. Has anyone been up and about? Only you and the other lady. It has been quiet for some time. Has anything unusual occurred? Well, there was the avalanche, of course. Later, Madame Hubbard insisted she saw a man in her room, uh, but I could find no one. If Hubbard's dead, that's pretty bad. Mm. We need to investigate Hubbard's room at some point. Is that another bathroom? Mm. Might be. This door is tightly locked. As opposed to just locked. We go into here. I'm guessing it's locked. 
I am sorry, mademoiselle. As I'm certain you know, regulations require that the doors to other wagon lit be kept locked, so that passengers without true tickets may not change cars. I see. It's a closed room mystery. Ah, you are trapped on a carriage. It's a closed circle, at least, because no one can yeah. enter. Well, apart from the train attendant. Or maybe someone caused the avalanche and climbed aboard the train. We saw it was the snow that caused the avalanche. Yeah, but what if, like, someone released the snow off camera? Dr. Snowflake. Because I know they're going to pull something ridiculous, and I really, really want to try guessing it for once. Mm. We find a demolitions expert. Actually, let's go find Poirot. If we yeah. can't, we won't be able to hear anything in the room, and we'll think, oh, it doesn't mean anything. We couldn't hear him earlier. Let's try Hubbard. Mademoiselle, please. Okay, we need to kill the guard first. Mademoiselle. <laughs> okay, if we. Mm. Poirot. Mademoiselle, please. <laughs> well, allow me to check it for soundproofing then. Mm. Got glass it. Glass it. I wonder if he can still see us down here, that'd be really hilarious. That's our room. Oh. Ah. Well, back to the cutscene, I guess. We'll find out. We Someone did. will be dead. The thing is, we saw people climbing around outside the train. Yeah. So that The engineer means... can do that, I guess. But... Yeah, but that means, like, the murderer is kind of, like, betting on the avalanche in order to pull My this off. My daughter said it would be the easiest way in the world. Just sit in the train till I got to Paris. But now we may be here for days and days. And my boat sails day after tomorrow. How am I going to catch it now? I can't even wire to cancel my passage. I feel too mad to talk about it. Uh, my sister. Her children wait for me. What will they be thinking? They will be thinking bad things have happened to me. I have business in Milano. A very rich gentleman with his eye on an Alfa Romeo designed by Enzo Ferrari himself. If I am late, I may lose the sale. Say. You never said what line you were in. That is very true. I didn't. We may be Mind your own days. bloody business. Back in 29, <laughs> there was a train trapped in the snow like this for a week. The passengers almost starved. I'm told they hunted wolves for food. There's always cannibalism, of course. I remember e one excuse time... Excuse me? Cashmere, I say. Old man, are you going to eat those rashers of bacon? They're quite nice. What country is this anyway? <laughs> Yugoslavia, I believe. Oh, one of those Balkan things. What can you expect? You work wow. for the train company? Yes, but there isn't much I can do, I'm afraid. Not They'll the send doctor. out a plow train from Broad. It's standard procedure. I don't blame you. There's nothing anyone can do. Monsieur Poirot is right, Mary. Oh? He said you are the strongest character oh, no, among us. I agree. Oh no. No, indeed. I know one far, far stronger than I am. Is it Jesus? Oh, Michel, you look almost ill. What is wrong? Pardon moi. Mademoiselle Marceau, Monsieur Poirot requests you come to his compartment at once. I think it's the Countess we were speaking to, possibly. Maybe. Hmm. I am unwell and cannot continue the investigation. I have found a suitable doppelganger for the meantime. Why is he wearing a tux in bed? Yeah, that's a really good question. A gentleman would always look his best. Uh, <laughs> let's start with Poirot. What has happened, Monsieur Poirot? Murder, mademoiselle, of the most savage nature. I have ordered all of the train doors to the outside to be sealed, with the exception of the rear door of the Athens Paris coach. So that the engineer and fireman of the train may keep the engine's boiler provided with the coal. It would become very cold in here otherwise without the steam heat. The attendant... Uh, His name is Matteo, I believe. Ah, Matteo. will inform us immediately if anyone else attempts to depart the train. Fortunately, the only passenger in the Athens Paris coach is Dr. Constantine here. Oh, he's the doctor. He has examined the body. Doctor, Mademoiselle Marceau represents the owners of this train. You may speak freely. You're fired. Oh, no! Who has been killed? It totally wasn't me, Monsieur by the Ratchet. way. So what oh, do, Monsieur Ratchet. Ratchet. Where's the celebrate option? Ratchet? What, who was Ratchet? Oh, it's, it's the guy who has the nasty eyes. Ah. 
I have a gun to defend myself. And Murder I've... most foul. <laughs> I have statues and flirting at my disposal, Mr. Poirot. Who... Wow. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that memorable guy. Um... Okay. It's hmm. true, I didn't see him. Damn, that's really vague, though, because he said he has enemies, so we can't pick him out of the crowd. I yeah. think contacting the police is standard procedure when there's a murder. Yeah, let's be... Yeah. We must contact the Yugoslavian police in Vinkovio Broad. Yugoslavian police? <laughs> Are you mad? They will detain us all for weeks while they trample evidence and bluster about with no idea how to solve a murder. Ah, if only we were in Greece. Ah. Uh... I don't like you, Constantine. Over to you, Poirot. Monsieur Poirot, I appeal to you. We yes, you certainly do, Mademoiselle. The police. They will detain us all for weeks while they trample evidence <laughs> and bluster about with no idea how to solve a murder. Ah, really? If only we were in I think we've broken his brain. Take command of the investigation. Oh, must I? Oh, oh I'm just going to take control, am I? Do you know who I am? I kind I'm, of... Sorry, I kind I'm of... Poirot. I only take cases which interest me, and now the man with the nasty eyes is gone. He's kind of evolving into Batman, the way you're speaking there. <laughs> oh, why did you want to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Sorry. Mademoiselle! <laughs> oh, that was awful. Yes, it is. Okay. Um... Let's go with this. Do the fangirl yeah. thing. It's a yeah. character. Yeah. We both know the longer a crime goes uninvestigated, the more difficult it becomes to solve. Ah, uh, yes, of course, I remember. You are the student of crime. And what you say is very true. All the same. I, I, I just don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> ah, yes. Hit, hit the guilt card. Yes. Monsieur Poirot, my job isn't much, but it's all I have. The avalanche, your injury, now a murder. If it isn't solved, I will lose my job. No, you cannot be blamed. I will have a word with Marcel. You have my guarantee that he will not fire you. Oh, you can really? be on your way Bye. to your important case in England. We can avoid delays, annoyances, and a million and one inconveniences for all the passengers. I am addressing an important medical conference in London in two days. Maybe you should have you know, planned Any additional for winter. Delay would be Solve the mystery. All we need say when the police arrive is here is the murderer. Mademoiselle, use your own powers of observation. Oh, alors Poirot, he is confined to bed in the most serious of pain. How can he take command of anything? In my scrapbook, I have a quote from you. How does it go? To solve a case, a man has only to sit back in a chair and think. Use the little grey cells of your mind. I have often used the murderer's own words to spring my trap. <laughs> and now I am caught by my own. Well done. Eh bien, mademoiselle, I will do what I can. I ask only that you do my legwork. This would appeal to you, I think. You know it would. Stop being so I happy really about death. I the challenge I once made to my friend Captain Hastings. Accept, and we will play a little game between ourselves. You will need to use your own little cry cells as much as Poirot. And in the end, we will see if the student of crime is ready to graduate. Refuse? I will guide your investigations much more. Either way, the crime, it will be solved. It is an important decision you must make now, before we proceed. I will not ask again. Do you accept? Yes. You know, what we need to add to this game? Difficulty levels. But, you know, it would be even better if we waited an hour and a half before we gave him the option to set it. That, that is true gameplay right there. Yes, it's like reality where the difficulty changes when you least expect it. Just like for Batman. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's this place going great. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to accept. I can't wait to graduate from Poirot University. <laughs> that's a hell of a certificate. I know, it's just like a big seal of Poirot's smiling, leering face. Applicants will need to have evidence of analytical thinking. Bang! Diploma from Poirot. There we go. Yes! I got oh, the yeah. grey cells. All 12 of them.
I am honored. I gladly accept the challenge. Excellent. Now, if you reach an impasse, think only what would Poirot do? Well, that's what that button is. Imagine that I am there beside you, offering counsel. Talking may help. in your head. So, we begin. Dr. Constantine, take her next door. Yay, cutscene. Establishing shot. There's no steam. We're all gonna die! Okay. This has been another pointless moment. So what, there's like a dozen suspects? Wow! <laughs> I thought that was an old woman for a moment. He looks like Gollum. Look at that. <laughs> My precious statue. Well, he's in bed. He's all wrapped up. Well, our work is done here. Uh, Stand around <laughs> awkwardly. I think we should uh, save here again. Oh, yes. Well, bacon thief, glass thief, life thief. War of uni. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> See you soon.